I'm talking to Hugo uh, Relatens and he's on his way to China and he's doing an uh, ICO from Retail Coin just before you're on the plane, Hugo. You just started last Sunday and let me just ask you some clarifying questions. What is Retail Coin? What kind of ICO is that? Uh, Retail Coin is a crypto loyalty coin that, um, uh, that we created in order to help retailers uh, uh, set up a loyalty program amongst themselves. So basically, the idea is to set up a modern loyalty system where uh, people and consumer can save in, in, a, in retail shop A and then spend the coins in retail uh, shop B. And then in a frictionless way to make sure that uh, everybody will just join. Okay, yeah. So that's really what the big companies already have, the loyalty coins. And, uh, and some old-fashioned systems are there. You want to have, basically have a retail coin to make that more, uh, more smart. What is the status? What 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 is your status of your uh, of your product and of your customers and etc. Well, of course, we we started out to uh, reinvent our existing business from a non-blockchain solution into a blockchain solution. So we already had a, a bunch of uh, launching customers, uh, but recently we have uh, we signed up the a mid-sized uh, city in in Holland called Tilburg. And they will start as uh, one of the smart city concepts where they will introduce blockchain and our loyalty solution with retail coin to uh, attach all the retailers in the city center and make sure that everybody gets their hands on to uh, into crypto uh, crypto coins. Okay. Yeah, I see a bunch of customers uh, already on your website. You also have business partners. You got Rabobank to join you? Well, Rabobank is uh, the uh, uh, bank that we use for our uh, company, for Digital MKB. That's the operating company for our technologies. And uh, while we have, uh, uh, when we started out the company, Rabobank was our uh, partner and is our partner. We uh, we have credit lines at uh, Rabobank, and uh, yeah, that's uh, how we cooperate. Okay. Well, it's already amazing as an ICO to get a bank uh, partner, so that is good. Uh, talk about your team. What is your background, and what is your team's background? Well, my background is uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a nerd, I'm a geek, uh, I love technology, I have been working in technology for 20 years, I've, uh, I worked for Microsoft, I uh, worked for Nikon, I spent six years in China, I, I, I know technology, I love technology, that's what I live and breathe. Okay. Uh, the other people in our team, they're a little bit uh, less uh, technology minded than I am. So, for example, Frans van Heijlen, he is our, uh, uh, the, the, the uh, executive president for the uh, nonprofit foundation that we've set up for this uh, uh, for this business model to work. Um, he is a real banker, basically. He a, 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 used to be vice president of ING. He used to be one of the directors uh, for uh, the national police. And he will uh, manage and control the ICO fundings to make sure that everything goes well. Okay. And who are uh, these other people on your board? Uh, you have uh, Antoine Janssen and Gijs uh, Payments. Payments. Well, let me start with uh, Michiel Hokenboom. He is the ex-Microsoft uh, director and uh, currently the strategy designer for Business Model Inc. That's the company that invented the uh, Business Model Canvas, and he's helping out with our front-end strategy. And then, of course, we've got uh, Bas van Os. He is uh, 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 one of the uh, uh, starting consultants for TransLink Systems, and he was on, uh, one of the founding fathers of the OV chip card. Okay, um, yeah, so uh, we know that is, of course, in uh, our, our system. Okay, so that is the team, so that is uh, known. How long ago did you start this company? Uh, we started officially the 1st of April last year, but we uh, started to work, of course, a little bit earlier than that, maybe uh, January last year, 2017. Okay, all righty. So what's the use of the coin? Uh, how will the blockchain work inside your system? Well, basically, we uh, analyzed how people could co collaborate on customer retention by introducing a, a joint loyalty program. And we ran into three specific problems that, uh, that we use blockchain to solve. The first specific problem that we had is that people need to make arrangements and agree on uh, joining a, a joint loyalty program. And when you work together in a, a city center or in a shopping mall, that is actually a very challenging task to do. Thanks to the blockchain, we can now asynchrone, uh, let people make uh, uh, agreements with whom they want to collaborate and how they want to collaborate with each other. Mm -hmm. The second part that we use for the blockchain is the reservation that needs to be done uh, for the loyalty scheme to work. So basically with uh, uh, old uh, uh, loyalty programs, for example, with Air Miles, at the moment that everybody makes a purchase, that's the moment that everybody has to 
uh, send some money to air miles that is being put on a third party uh, bank account and that just piles up and piles up. This is one of the big reasons why air miles is just doesn't work anymore. Uh, we, we don't have this specific uh, challenge because we have integrated a crypto, uh, um, a crypto exchange to make sure that all um, uh, money flows goes well through the crypto exchange. So we incorporate the crypto exchange to make sure that nobody, no retailer has to make a reservation up front. Yeah, yeah. And I, I will, will the consumer do anything with that coin? Will I, or is that, is that, is that what I see in my wallet? So you will get a wallet as a, as a consumer, but you will not be able to exchange your uh, saved up loyalty coins for fiat money. You cannot change the retail coin into euros if you are a consumer that has collected the retail coins with your purchases. The reason why we do this is because when you provide euros to the consumers, you're not creating loyalty, you're creating a discount. And we don't want them to have a specific discount. We want the consumer to go back into the stores and, and purchase more and more often. That's that's the goal of what we, uh, uh, with, with retail coin, and uh, to make sure that the retailers can collaborate on customer retention. Yeah, yeah, I can only, the coins I get, I cannot put them into euro, I can only buy other stuff from the retailers. Yes, so if you are an investor, or you are a retailer, or even a brand, then you will be able to collaborate on this, and you will be able to exchange the coins into euro and into fiat money, but when you are a consumer who has purchased, or who has purchased stuff, purchased products at the retailer, and therefore you collect the retail coins, those retail coins will not be able to be uh, exchanged for euro money, only for products. Okay. And what will be the value of those uh, of, the, of the coins? Will they be the same for um, for investors and uh, and consumers alike, or can I? Will the, will, the, will the retailers give me the same value of, uh, as, as, the, uh, as the coin uh, is valued on an exchange? Yeah, so what we have done is we have calculated the amount of coins that you need to use for, to, to redeem a specific product. We have connected that to the price of the exchange. That means that the amount of coins that I need as a consumer to, uh, to get my free cup of coffee or to get my free gift it depends on the value of the exchange. And when it goes up, I need less coins to redeem my uh, product. And when it goes down, I, yeah. I okay. need a little bit more coins to redeem my product. So you have started your uh, ICO last Sunday. Um, how is it going and what is your goal? Well, our solution is specifically meant for retailers, for brands, uh, for consumers who makes use of it. Uh, but unfortunately, we do not have a huge crypto community uh, behind us. That means that we really uh, get interested people from uh, usually the retail industry or people that we know. Uh, and so far, we have raised uh, over a quarter of a million euro. And uh, after the first weekend, we have already raised more than 50,000 euros. Now, that may not be extreme numbers in, uh, yeah, in crypto that's world. Is, no, that's fine. What is your goal? Oh, our goal is to make sure that we have everything that we need. So we have already reached our soft cap and we're going to implement the solution in, uh, in the first cities in, in Holland. But as we move forward, we hope to, uh, to raise over uh, about 5 million euro okay. to make sure that we can uh, uh, scale out faster. Yeah. But at the same time, we will uh, scale out as, uh, as fast as possible. Yeah. So in the, in the market will start, uh, your product will start in August, September uh, of this year. Okay. Yes, we, we, we expect to connect our first city uh, with uh, tens and hundreds of retailers uh, connected to the program uh, around uh, the end of the summer. So you go. If people are interested, yeah, they can go to retailcoin.eu and um, yeah, an idea to have a uh, uh, loyalty program for uh, small and medium businesses um, is quite um, rational, so uh, I'd like to see it in action. Good luck in China. What are you going to do there? Uh, we're also going to uh, fund the ICO uh, in China. We have, uh, as you know, that I've, I've spent six years in China. I've got a fast network of, of people and investors in China who are very interested in the European concepts. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think that we have a good proposition and uh, we're, we're moving strong ahead with that. Uh, we're also attaching uh, Chinese retailers to make sure that they get uh, their loyalty program. Uh, but for to Thursday, I'll be on stage for four or 500 uh, people, investors. Uh, that are going to listen to our ICO pitch, and uh, we're looking forward to that. Yeah, I thought it was forbidden for uh, Chinese people to invest in ICOs. That's absolutely true. So uh, there is uh, there are laws against this, 
Um, so we are not specifically pitching our ICO as well as our blockchain solution. And when investors want to invest, that's the moment that they will have to go abroad uh, from outside of China actually invest into uh, the retail coin solution. Okay, your plane's leaving in seven minutes. Good luck. Bye-bye. Thank you. Nice meeting bye -bye. you.